Hey what's up guys my name is Farjana welcome to my another elemental tips and tricks tutorial this is a simple and fun effect with our image so here i will show you how you can create this kind of image hover effect and this is nothing crazy this is a simple and fun effect and by creating this kind of simple fun effect we can take our website to a next level for this tutorial i'm using elemental pro version and little bit of css code I'm not going to use any more extra plugin so your site will not be overloaded. By the way, if you like to see this kind of cool effect or cool video, give this video a big thumbs up otherwise you may not find this kind of valuable tutorial next time. And if you are new here like to see my more upcoming videos, don't forget to subscribe my channel. Now let's go ahead and without any further ado, let's get started. First, I'm taking a new section and here I have enabled the flexbox container mode so i can take any one okay for example i'm taking the first one and here i'm setting the height to the screen size so mean height vh i'm making it to 100 and also setting the background color to a dark color and now inside this i'm taking a new widgets click on this plus icon and here i'm searching for html now here i need to add some html code and also need to add some css code so for that i'm going to my website and here i have listed all the code in step by step and i will also leave this page link in my description so you can check it from there first i'm going to copy all this html and simply paste it and then if i scroll down here is the css all together so i'm going to copy all the css i will explain this later and going to advance if i scroll down here is a custom css options by the way this custom css options is only available on elementor pro version so if you still did not get Elementor Pro, I will leave the Elementor Pro download link in my description. You can get it from there. And after activating the Elementor Pro, you will also can access to these custom CSS options. Then simply paste our code and boom. Alright, let's go to explain the image and code. First I am positioning the HTML. So going to edit container and from layout. I'm positioning it to the center, making the alignment to center and justify align to center. So it's vertically and horizontally center. And we can position it to any place or anywhere you want. Alright, now this is basically the effect with any image and when you hover over, it's breaking to four shapes. Now if I go to the CSS code, going here. And if I look at the CSS, so from here we can change the image. Here I am using this image instead of this. If I go to the dashboard and media and instead of this, if you want to use any other image, for example this one, and I am going to change it. So we can see, we can create this effect with any image. And also here is some variable I have set all the CSS below and here is some variable I set in top. So this is the width for the desktop I have set the width 500 and height 500. We can change it. I am making it to 400. It's working fine. And also here I have added some CSS code this for tablet. So I have set a different width for tablet and also for phone. So you can change all these. And then if I scroll down, here is the background image size. We can change the image size. This is now cover. And also the background image position by default. Here I set left and center. We can set it to center center or anything you want. And then for this four shape, I have used mainly the CSS clip path attribute. 
So here I have divided this image or object into four shapes or four square. So if you want to create this kind of shape to a different one or different way, you can generate your code. So if I go to our website, here is a generator link. So if I open this and from here we can create any kind of shape or path. For example, if I create again the triangle or four angle. So if I go to let and I'm selecting the first part and here it's generating the code clip path. So I'm going to copy and here is the span and child one. So this will work for the first shape and if I change the clip path so it's taking this shape and in the similar way if I go for the second step it's also changing the clip path so it's working for the second one here is the end child 2 you can change it and you can see it's working for the second one so in the same way we can create different kind of path or shapes on the right side we will find different kind of shapes so instead of this four angle shape if we want to create different kind of shape or path we can generate our code from here for now i'm going back and also if i scroll down here is nothing else it's just the hover effect so when i hover over for the four shape for the first one for example this is going to translate and rotate to the left side and in the same way for the second one third one and fourth one i have added code here so if you know some basic css you can customize or edit our css code from here and also here i have added a transition delay so for the first one it's going fast and for the second one it's coming after the first one then third and fourth and finally saving our code and if i also check the responsive mode so you can see this is fully responsive i have added the image with 200 percent for the phone if i see this is for phone i have added with 100 percent you can change it to anyone all right going back and we are done All right, that's all for today. This is a quick tip and fun video. So if you like to see this kind of video, give this video a big thumbs up. Otherwise, you will not find this kind of valuable tutorial next time. And if you are new here and like to see my more upcoming videos, don't forget to subscribe my channel. And finally, if you like to work with me for any WordPress project, you can contact me through my website. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.